What is going on guys? We are back in the Crack Pack server, and uh, this may not look like our usual base. Um, we're in Brink's base right now, and he was gracious enough to actually make us a... Well, he's giving us his deep storage unit full of dirt. Now, I just wanted to be sure that you could break this without everything exploding out, so we're going we're gonna to get rid of this here. Uh, don't worry, he did give us permission, as far as I'm aware. Um, to come into his base if the only thing we touched was this so I'm gonna break this but if this dirt spills out and the server crashes just know I tested it already okay I already tested this so we're gonna we're gonna do it oh it worked it's good enough for me let's get out of here I don't like being in his base it's too much it's too much stuff in his base it's also very loud he's got something going on that's making this whirring noise I assume it is his power source and it's got something to do with um, oh it's like the hydrogen separator or gas separator or something I know uh, cat dog had one uh, in his video it was pretty funny he's like oh yeah you know I'm going to get rid of the whirring noise from these wind turbines, and the, the power source he picks makes the same exact noise, except it has to be in your house. So, uh, the reason we're getting this dirt is because I left the tree farm and everything on overnight, and I left the clay jar production on overnight, and to my surprise, we didn't run out of slag. We have an excess of slag now. We ran out of dirt, and yeah, I'm getting better at controlling this enchanted broom. Um, but yeah, we have a huge thing now of a bunch of, bunch of slag. I wonder if we should get rid of this barrel and put in this deep storage unit. Can we do that? Can we just like slap it in and pull it out the bottom? We'll pull that out. If I make room over here, I think it might... If we look, we can look at all this. Yep, okay, that's good enough. It's going to go so fast, and these are going to get so screwed because... Oh, okay, well, why is it taking so long to put the dirt in? It pulled dirt out of here. It's pulling a buttload of dirt out of here, but it's taking forever to get it in there. There we go. Oh my god. It's just going to speed through this because it can craft like instantly the minute it gets enough dirt it is done crafting but we need uh, we need a lot of water so <laughs> we're gonna have to prevent this from being backed up for a while but Brink you really saved my ass here because that is a bunch of dirt and eventually I'm gonna need more so you better get uh, you better get on that but yeah you can see look at all this uh, you can tell when you don't uh, have enough clay because you run out of, um, or you're not getting all the essence and fume, but you're still getting the wood ash because it cooks it even if there's no clay jar in there. So it doesn't, it's not going to like overload because you'll just get wood ash, but then this is going to overload. So these barrels can only hold so much wood ash. Uh, it, it's not infinite inside barrels. And I think it's 64 stacks of 64. So, um, we may eventually set up an AE system for all this, but uh, you know what? I need this to get not backed up first. And is this? Yeah, it's running fine on power. I need this to get it so I can drop the rest of this slag in, but that's not going to happen, I don't think. I've got so much excess slag that can go in here. Ugh. And then this thing's going to have to cook a buttload. And so that thing's going to... Okay, well... This is going to be fun. Um, I'm going to go drop my stuff off. There's a couple things that I want to get done today. Uh, I think we're only going to get one done, though. And you can probably already tell what it is. But we're going to do some imbuing or whatever. We're going to basically make ourselves an actual witch. Um... And when I was talking with Chillum, he said the best way to go about 
using the witch's hand once you get it is to allow it to teleport you home and there's a lot of different things you can do with it but that's one of them and then there's another thing we can use the ent twig that we found and we can also make that into a sort of wand but this takes a lot of different circle magic so uh, when I died and we had that whole issue with the brooms and everything getting lost I lost my book too on circle magic I, I think it did at least if it's not in one of these chests then it's gone and I actually don't have any ink on me so I need to go get some ink somewhere out here uh... you know if we're lucky they'll be right over here but i'm usually not lucky like i have all this water around my base and there's never any squid in it huh okay well there's a lot of preparation i have to do for this guys so i'm gonna cut back once we are uh... are ready to go with the whole circle magic setup and then we will become a true witch so i'll see you guys in a bit Okay guys, so we're back, and damn, there are a lot of clay jars made now. So we'll be good for, uh, we'll be good for a while. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do some infusing, and I was a little bit off with what we have to do, um, but it's, it's actually pretty simple, we just infuse ourselves with the magic, and, um, yeah, that's it. And then the witch's hand is just what you need to use to actually cast the magic. So, uh, put the witch's hand here. Because we're going to need that, I'll put it over here. That's where I put all my valuable stuff that like I don't want to actually lose. Uh, so to start, we're going to need to make some of this otherware chalk. And we have everything we need, except I need to make some more ritual chalk. So, uh, do I have... I have one gypsum. I need more. So we need foul fume and quick lime. Uh, yeah, we only need one actually, and one foul fume. And then that is all we're gonna need for this. Uh, I need to snag some of these actually. Pop those in there. And oh wait, no, I didn't make this quick lime. Whoops. <laughs> There we go. Man, what is that zombie doing out there? Being a sneaky devil. Okay, so uh, I guess we can start on the other part now. So we're going to make a spirit of otherware, which is... Just search it up rather than looking for it. Spirit of otherware. So we need two eyes of ender. Wool of bat, that's really easy. <laughs> my ender balls. Oh my god, you bastard. I didn't lock my door. I don't even have a weapon on my toolbar. You know what? This is why we locked the door. Because of the new zombie AI. Now I've got blood on my floor. That guy's a bastard. Um, okay, we're going to need nether wart. I'm going to need to make some bottles because we are going to need another potion. There we go. Then we can start brewing that too. Lots of brewing and kettling and whatnot this episode. Uh, is this done? It should be. Yeah, and these are actually getting pretty damn full. Those are those are getting there. So I'll have to figure out if we want to use a deep storage unit or what. Okay, where did I put... I know I had another... Around here somewhere, another gypsum. You know what, is it in this chest over here? No, maybe I will have to do another one of these. Just do one last check. No... No. No. No, okay, I must have thrown it out somewhere. Or died with it. Who knows? Uh, there we go. Oh, it produces another foul fume for you? Okay, so it just uses that. 
Um. Okay. Do I have... I can just go break some reeds outside. Okay. Oh my god. Using these keys is actually kind of annoying. It offers more protection, but it's slightly annoying. Sugar, and then... Is it glowstone or redstone? I forgot last time. I'm pretty sure it's redstone. Let's see. Spirit of Otherware. Yeah, it's redstone. Okay. It's not that it really matters, but I just don't feel like brewing more potions over again. No. Wait, what am I doing? First, we need the sugar. Oh, Schnix was on. I didn't even notice him on here. Okay, we can make our chalk for now. So we need some wood ash. Six wood ash. Two of them. And... What else do we need? Two of the goddess. Oh, that's why I made that. I know I started on it earlier, but then I had to go for a little bit. So I'm wondering why I did that. And then that's easy to make the other word chalk. We just need our lapis. Some water artichokes. And ender pearls. I'm gonna go get some more ender pearls soon. Because a lot of things that we do use ender pearls. And we can sleep. Because nobody else is on the server. And then... Is there a zombie out there? I heard one. Is he burning? Whatever. I uh, cleared some space over here. Eventually, I have an idea for these. I'm going to make big pads for the circles. And we're just going to put them up in the sky. And the altar is going to be in the center. And then one pad can have all of this stuff on it. We can just elevate her up there. Uh, but for now, it can stay here. Uh, let's fight this guy first. God, why don't they burn? Bastards. I really need my witchery, like, weaponry to kill them. Okay, so over here, I'm pretty sure I made this just wide enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. And then, clearly this is wide enough. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Do we have any blocks to mark this with? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 4, 5. So this would be the center here, and then I'm guessing it's this block. 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. Okay, so this block is where we want the heart glyph to go. right there and then one two three you just make sure I'm doing this right over here so it's three out three five out five two five guys trying to mess with me and over here Okay, let me just connect them. And then... Make our other circle. And we're good. And that obviously is connected to the altar because the altar has an Arthana on it. So now we need to finish what we were brewing before. So, uh, this should be good to go. Potion of Swiftness. And what else do we need now? Uh, where is it over here? I think it's on Spirit of Otherware. So we're going to have that. These two are easy. That is easy. 
redstone soup. So we're going to need two drops of luck, and I need to, I might actually need to go get a tongue of dog. Hmm, let's see if we have one. No, we do not. Okay, that's unfortunate, but it's not a problem. So, you know what, I'll just form what we're crafting in here. Huh. Blaze rods. It's powder. Did I drop them in here? Yeah, I did. Okay. Right there. Get our potion in there. So then all we need is a tongue of dog for the redstone soup. Man, I really hate making redstone soup too. That's really obnoxious. So we need only thing we need for this is a drop of luck and a tongue of dog. Drop of luck takes Utandus, which we have. Two water bottles, which we can get. And we need diamond vapor and a gas here. You know what? I am going to go bring my levels over to Chillum's base and use his gas spawner. Um, I hope he doesn't mind, but that is the best way to go about it. So, you know what? I need my broom. And I will be back after my little adventure. Okay, guys. Once again, we're back. And my god, this took forever ever to get stuff for because we need to make the otherware potion we need to make the redstone soup for that we need to make a death protection pop it and all of that stuff takes so much to do but i have most of it set up here so we can grab all this we need to make three different um drops of luck and one drop of luck is going to go there, one's going to go there. And then one is going to go for our death protection pop it, but we need to tag lock ourselves first. So we tag locked ourselves. Now we need to make a voodoo doll. Got everything set up for that. So we got to, or yeah, pop it. Then we have. Doo -doo -doo. What am I missing? Oh, I'm not missing anything. Need to surround it with gold nuggets, diamond, and then a drop of luck. Death protection poppet. So this is a death protection poppet for me. And then we need to head on over to the kettle. And let's line everything up first. So I have it. I always do this because it just makes it easier. Um, why do I have diamond? Oh, it's just excess. Um, need that, 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 and that for the first one. And we'll remember these for the second one. And I also need a bucket. Do I have one? Yeah, I do. Good, good. I always hate using a kettle. It always makes me super nervous because if you screw it up, you screwed. Actually, you know what? I need to make more. Need to make more bottles to collect both of these in. Don't want to forget that. Brewing is like honestly the hardest part, of which or not the hardest part, but the most tedious part. Especially when you throw your stuff in. Okay, so let's make sure. That everything's right once again. Spirit of Otherware. Okay, this one is right to make the redstone soup. Redstone dog mandrake. Uh, redstone dog mandrake. Okay. So we'll throw it in in order. You got the redstone. Then you got that. Then you got that. 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 And that. And you can see it's got like a slight change in color. Boom. Redstone soup. Okay, guys, so we're back after some technical difficulty. And I basically got through brewing the rest of the potion and put it on myself. And then I realized that there was an issue with my fraps and it 
wasn't recording. It just stopped for some reason once we basically made it part of the way through the redstone soup brew. So I just cut it off of the redstone brew and then we're back here. And we're going to mess around a little bit with the witch's hand. You can see in the uh, left side of my screen that we have that little bar. That's the charge that we're going to use with the witch's hand. And I'm not exactly sure how we recharge that, but that's irrelevant for the time being because you barely use any charge when you use this. So there's different ways to use the, uh, the witch's hand. And when we were infused with, or when we had the infusion of otherware, you can right click with the witch's hand and it just teleports you a short distance. Also, you can teleport a really long distance if you hold right click. So we'll come over here and teleport into our house. The door is open. Yeah, so we're gonna go inside the house. You hold it down, teleport's charged, just release and you boom, all the way in here. Uh, so now, what we really want this for is to uh, set a home location. So if we sneak, and then hold right click. It should store. Yep. Recall point set to there. Wow, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, so now, if we come out here, and you know, we just we're walking around. You know, let's say this isn't our base, so we just like tag locked someone, uh, which is what I really want to use this for. So we just tag locked someone. We want to get home. We sneak. And then we right click and it brings us right back no matter what dimension we're in we just shoot right back there we could be in the nether uh, the only thing that would be different would be the spirit world but that's because you don't take your items there as far as I know so now we can fly wherever we want go wherever we want do whatever we want and as long as we have this witch's hand which isn't even be like bound to us like the the infusion is on us it's not actually on the witch's hand so if we lose this all we need to do is kill some more witches with an Arthana get another witch's hand and we're good to go and the infusion persists through death so it's this is pretty strong right here guys uh, so apparently if you left click on a mob or player you teleport them with you into the air and then if you left click while sneaking uh, on a mob or player you teleport them and you to the saved recall point so if I'm with someone I can teleport them into my base uh, or a mob so that's an easy way to get uh, guys that I need back to my base and what I can actually do and I'll use that for is when I am getting when I'm getting an owl for a tamed owl for like a familiar you need to have critter snares with bats in them and getting the bats kind of annoying so if I set my recall point into like a box that I need them to go in to get snared in the critter snares all I have to do is teleport them there as my recall point and then we have them in an enclosed area to capture them so that's that along with teleporting ourselves home ha boom that is what this is really good for there's other infusions but this one is really just a utility infusion so uh, I'm sorry that we lost some of the footage guys but there's really nothing I can do about it but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, feel free to leave a comment or a like. And like I said, every other episode, I'm putting out videos every day now because it's summer vacation. So feel free to subscribe if you guys want to see my daily content on the server. And really soon, we're going to start messing with people because Chillum had a great idea where we can make ourselves fully invisible, go into people's bases without breaking any blocks, tag lock them, and immediately teleport home. There's basically no way for them to tell that we're there other than possibly... A tool on our back but there's a way to get around that if you use a wand so we're basically set we're kind of teaming up as witches I don't think we really have to call a truce now because we're never really killing each other um, but yeah that's what you guys can look forward to and I will talk to you later